Hey guys, it's me, SBPC Gaming, and you are going to be watching Set to Tears Midwinter Reprisal. It's a anime novel, and I kind of enjoy it. So, here's the video. Right, right. It's one of those odd winter days where the, when the snow is falling, but it isn't cold. Either late November, the beginning of December, right around the Christmas time when the dollar stores start playing Christmas music and the couples go skating. One of those odd winter evenings, the same old 3pm through the lens of the classroom window. I would describe the mute texture of the light through the glass, but it all comes, it becomes all too familiar. It'd be like raving about the miracle of flowers blooming in the spring. The novelty is gone. Chairs screech against the tile floor and the students chatter all around, but the sound falls on me weightlessly. The mayfly, the bug that lives for only a day once it grows its wings. It's a great metaphor, you must have seen it before. I wonder sometimes, it's like being stuck in a room with the TV set to the local news, almost muted but not quite. Or like reading a boring web page because you're too lazy to click away. Having a voice in your head that won't shut up, it, should, it used to bother me, but I can angle it now. Listen to music on the way home, play a video game before you go to bed, kill time in any way you can, it won't be so loud. Ever wonder why they even bother? It's simple really. You pick up your books, stand up, put on your gloves as you walk through the early winter chip. Get home, make a snack, relax and let the process repeat itself. Life is the easiest thing in the world when you think about it. But sometimes memories resurface the horrible red brown that encroaches on my vision, creeping from a box locked safely away. It's cold. I haven't noticed before but it looks like it's snowing. Was I out for that long? I was walking home from school a moment ago, I'm sure. Or is it a dream? That would make sense, but then why am I wearing my school uniform and why is my wallet in my pocket? Well, that doesn't prove anything, but might as well roll with it. It's seriously pitch black here. I can make out the snowflakes just fine, but nothing seems to be light in them. I'd better start moving before I freeze to death. Ah! That light, it's... Ooh. Ooh. Damn, boy. Nice, nice dress. She's pretty. You're welcome. You, you. Thank you for coming to see me. It's lonely here, you know. Yeah, I know. He's probably got an hard on. Lonely. Yeah, I can't deny that. I mean, you can't deny anything else unless it's cold. It's probably that cold. It just won't rise. It's peaceful, it's a peaceful, peaceful prison, trapped in the darkness under the soft snowflake, snowfall, but it's a prison. Sorry about the, um, <coughs> pardon me, sorry about the stutter. What's the matter? Aren't you glad to see me? I? She looks familiar, I'm sure of it. The memory teases me like a vis vivid, lucid dream. But I can't grab hold of it. <laughs> That's another thing you can't grab hold of. It, it's been such a long time. I thought you would have been ecstatic. Ah! I open my mouth, but the words are lost. The more I search for the memory, the more her eyes bewitch me. As snowflakes land on the girl's hair, I, fo I force the first words out of my mouth. What could they be? Who are you? Do you really not remember me? What a shame. We have so much to catch up on. Who the fuck is she anyway? Her smile is confident, mysterious, somewhere between angelic and a doll-like. There's nothing to worry about. After all, we have all the time in the world. She's out of debt. So then, who are you? Fuck, that's creepy. 
She looks me in the eye and my heart stops. I'm the person you wish you never met. Oh, fuck. This is fucking serious. This is just got fucking serious. She embraces me and my senses freeze until her colour strike strikes my eye against the monochrome pattern. Hanging in the stillness, a red ribbon drifts from her side of her hair. And on the inside of the ribbon, something is written. But just as fantastic as that is, the fact that the words are scrambled blurred even though my eyes are only inches away from it. That ribbon, don't you remember? It's yours. It was yours. Was it? I don't know. Her voice fades away. I glance at the ribbon again, but before I can move my move closer, my stomach flips upside down. If your fucking stomach flips upside down, get down to the fucking hospital, mate, because something's not fucking right. Something's not right. Something's said definitely wrong, unless you're shitting the fuck right about ten minutes later. Wow. The girl's warm fades from my arms. Ah. Is she disappearing? Is she? I can still see her. I'm... This... This old world is... Shit. Boring. A knife pierces my heart and I realise it. It's not the world that's disappearing. It's that fart and the wind that's disappearing. It's me. Oh shit. Am I? Hey guys, it's me, SBPC Gaming, and you are going to be watching Set to Tears Midwinter Reprisal. It's a anime novel, and I kind of enjoy it. So, here's the video. <laughs> 